Hi. Okay. What the f is up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not sat on my floor and filmed the video in so long, so welcome. Here we are on the floor, ready for some riveting content. Sure. So, this video, I'm pretty sure I've tried to film it three times. So if this sees the light of day on the internet and you're watching this, holy f shit. I've tried to film this multiple times and it's never seen the light of day because I just fucking hated it. So we're gonna see how this one goes. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't really know. Literally every single time I post, hey, what kind of videos you guys wanna see, I'm gonna film. What do you want me to film? Blah, 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 blah. For some reason, you guys wanna invade my privacy and see what's on my iPhone. So I'm finally, for like the fourth time, gonna film this for you. So let's get right on into it. I don't know why you guys want to see this. It's not as interesting as you might think. Maybe it is. I don't know. Are these still even popular? Great question. I don't know. But here we are. We're going to do it. You're going to see my iPhone right here. I'm not going to screen record because I literally fucking hate filming videos with screen recordings. Can't handle it. Don't like it. It annoys me. I hate lining it all up. So you're going to get screenshots of my screen and what we're looking at. I have an iPhone XS Max in black on my iPhone currently, literally on my iPhone. I have the Apple smart battery case. I have a whole ass video on that. So if you want to go see it, go watch it. So when you unlock my phone, my beautiful fucking wallpaper is me and Ariana Grande when I held her hand. There's a whole other video on that as well. Wow. Maybe this video is just me talking about my whole channel and what you can watch on it. Anyways, swipe the fuck up. We unlock my phone. You're greeted with my beautiful home screen, which is also the same background because I like to keep it consistent. You know, I want my iPhone to look fresh and clean and like fluent. I don't want like that as my wallpaper and then we open my phone and my wallpaper is like fucking the sky or some shit. Shit has to match. It's just my psychotic brain, okay? But anyways, here is the home screen. Safari, looking things up on the internet, obviously. Then we have my mail, which I never fucking check. I have 1,258 emails. Actually, kind of a lie. I check my email quite frequently. I just don't delete emails and then all the emails I don't want to read, I don't get rid of those either. So they just end up piling up. And by the time I hit like 1,500 or so, I'll be like, wow, maybe I should clean those. And then I'll clean them up and be like, you know what? I'm going to keep up on this and delete them every time I don't read an email or want to see an email and then not do it. And we end up here a few months later. So <laughs> love that. Health app. And then we have the camera so I can take pictures of myself and others because I'm conceited and I love that. Honestly, sometimes I prefer the iPhone camera over any other camera. Am I the only one that feels that way? I don't know, let me know. Maps, so I know where the fuck I'm going when I go anywhere outside of my village. Notes for, um... The weather network. I wanna know when it's raining or sunny. Mm -hmm. You get it. YouTube, I literally watch YouTube more than I watch TV probably, so I have to have the YouTube app on my phone. Fucking love YouTube, watch it 24 fucking seven. And I'm sitting on my floor talking to YouTube right now, so you could probably guess that was on my phone. Contacts, clock, calendar. Settings. Activity. Activity's lit. That's what I use on my watch. Tracks all my exercise and activity throughout the day when that happens. Wallet. I have all my uh, my credit card, my debit card, concert tickets, event tickets, points cards, all that fun shit. Ford Pass. Now you'll see it has a little 18 beside it. That's for my car. I can start my car from that. I can get notifications for my car for that. And right now I have 18 because I have not changed my windshield washer fluid in Mm, three months or so and now it's like hey bitch we're running pretty fucking low we're getting pretty dry in here so maybe you should fill it and um i haven't so it's told me over 18 times at this point that i should probably put some windshield wash fluid in my car and i have yet to do that so stay tuned to find out if and when i ever decide to do that rbc mobile that's my banking app daily horoscope we love a good horoscope reading i'm a gemini hi psycho if you don't like horoscopes i don't want to hear about it i love them i'm super interested in them i think it's great to read and i like that i can feel like i know what's gonna happen in my life but yeah if you like reading about horoscopes i recommend daily horoscope I think it's a good one. It tells you like your day, your month, and your week. I don't know, I love it. Now we have photo apps. This is where it gets semi-interesting, I don't know. First I have Moldiv, that's a collage app, my favorite collage app. Ribbit, which is a photo editing app. Do you remember Picnic? It's exactly like Picnic, but it's just called Ribbit now. Um, Pick Lab, you can do like text and shit on there. Visco, if you can find me on Visco, you can follow me on Visco. That's how my Visco works. If you find me, follow me. If you don't, sorry. Facetune 2 because I'm a catfish. Sorry about it. InShot. I downloaded InShot because you can actually edit videos. Like you can rotate them, flip them, crop them, do whatever. I love that. You can do it right from your phone. Um, you can add text, all that shit. Plus you can do all the same stuff to photos. So like great app. Um, and then I have this imaging edge something. I don't know what the full title is, but it's basically hooks into my camera and then I can transfer pictures via Wi-Fi. And then I have Lightroom, which is where I can make filters and presets and all that shit. And my photos, love that. And then Plan, which is a fucking dope Instagram app. Um, you can literally upload Instagram photos before you want to post them to see if they fit with your feed. So if you're someone that like cares about your feed or what it looks like, you can sync your Instagram to that and it brings you up all your photos. And then you can add photos and it'll show you what you look like, what they look like before you post them. So you can decide if your filter is going to fit or if the photo is going to fit in your feed. Love that. 
Again, I'm a psycho. I need that shit. Other, we have the Kylie Jenner app, which I fucking seriously hope I don't still pay for because she doesn't do shit on that and it's not even downloaded on my phone right now because she never uses it like she used to. So let's hope I don't pay for that anymore. Facebook Messenger, PayPal, Pinterest, Boom, which hooks into my Bluetooth speaker. Yui Mega Boom, best Bluetooth speaker on the market. If you're looking for one, get that one. And we have shopping. I think I should just delete this entire folder off my phone because it'll probably save me a lot of money, but here we are anyways. I'm just gonna read through these quick. And you're gonna understand what they are. I don't wanna explain it to you. Amazon, App Store, iTunes, Apple Store, H&M, Starbucks, Scene, Movie Points and shit. Um, Walmart Photo Center, so when I wanna go print photos at Walmart, you upload them on there and put it onto the thing. American Eagle, Cineplex, Best Buy, Etsy, Kijiji, ASOS, Domino's, McDonald's, bomb coupons on there. Get the app for the coupons, I'm telling you. Fashion Nova Vivid Seats. Concert ticket app, check that out. Urban Outfitters Canada Post for tracking my online shopping addictions and all the packages I have coming in. Love that. Hopper, which is a plane ticket app that like tracks all the cheapest deals for you. Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes, Grail. Grail is like a place that sells, like people can resell clothes and shit, I don't know. And then Ticketmaster for concerts and whatnot. And then of course I have Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram. There are links below. Bug and follow me, beach. I got a great ass Instagram. Eh. Twitter, I think I'm hilarious. Snapchat. I don't really have my shit on public anyway, so you probably can't really add me, but if you want to do it, go ahead. On the bottom, I have messages, Spotify, phone, and photos. Follow me on Spotify. I have a playlist that I update monthly which with all the shit I listen to all the time. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. Go follow me. That was linked below as well. And on the second page, I have utilities. I don't even go through that because it's all the shit I don't fucking use. Uh, and then my watch folder, which basically just has my watch app and reminders. Reminders should probably be in utilities, but whatever. And then we have entertainment. I have Netflix, Bitmoji, Hey You. Hey You is a reality TV streaming service. Five bucks a month. Unlimited Kardashians. <laughs> Sign me up, bitch. Then I have this game called Aquapark.io. It was something I just saw on Instagram and it looks super fun. So I downloaded it. And you know what? It is fucking fun. So maybe you should download it too. Um, and then I have a LinkedIn folder. Not very exciting. YouTube Studio, which is what I can check my video analytics on edit, description and stuff, on the go, mobile editing studio, kind of. Not editing videos, but like editing your creator studio. Apple Music, which I also have, but I don't use as much as I use Spotify. And I have AdSense, which is like I'm where I, which is where I can track my YouTube payments. Um, RBC Wallet, which is like linked with my bank account. Um, Countdown, which is a countdown app. Vocal, I really don't know. I think this is like some kind of new social media and I saw it in an ad once and I thought it might be interesting one day. So I just saved it in case I ever want to check it out, which I haven't yet. So clearly it's not that exciting. And I have the Google Home app for my Google Home Mini and then Air Miles, which is you can collect Air Miles points at certain stores and shit. And then TikTok, which I used for like a week and thought it was the funniest thing I ever had in my entire life. And then I just never used it again. So that's super fun. And you know what? That's my super fucking exciting phone. I really hope you enjoy it. I thought that was everything you hoped it would be. I told you it wasn't that exciting, so I hope this satisfied your urge to see what was on my iPhone. If you have any questions about the apps or if I didn't explain them well enough because I kind of just whipped through that, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer them the best as I can. But yeah, that is what's on my iPhone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big fucking thumbs up. Thank you. Um, like I said, go follow all my social media that is linked down below if you want to subscribe because that would be very nice of you. I don't know. Maybe you should. Maybe you shouldn't. Shut in. Okay. That's it. Like I said, any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer them. I'm really great at that. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.